Welcome to Insulated Greenhouse. Yeah, welcome. Yes, today we're going to show you how to make collodial silver. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing that I came across about eight months ago, and I'd like everybody to know about it and how you can make it at home. It's um, it's extremely amazing. Um, we've been using it on our skin. Um, gosh, I wish I would have had it when I was in my teens. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, it, it just knocks the acne out, and um, when you're older, like I am, and uh, I'd spray it on my face a couple of times a day, and I've just seen a huge improvement. Um, it's just, uh, it, it, it'll knock out warts. Um, it almost replace everything in the drugstore. Uh, they they don't want you to know that um, the pharmaceutical companies because it's all money 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 and they can't patent silver. Um, it's been around for ages and ages and ages and the reason they're not they quit using it is because I'm not sure what the year was but. Uh, uh, maybe it was a hundred years ago or something, but it's when penicillin first came out. Mm -hmm. The silver back then was um, expensive to make. And that's when they went with a penicillin. It pretty much took over the market. Yeah. Uh, a long time ago, uh, to preserve milk, they would take a um, gallon of milk when, when they didn't have the refrigerators back then like we do now. And they'd put a silver dollar in the milk jug, and it would make it last a lot longer. Just just things like that. Uh, the silver kills bacteria instantly. And you can take it internally, too, and we've been experimenting with that. Been having good results with that, too. Um, I would suggest, if you do take it, to start out with like a teaspoon a day to see what your reaction is. I'm taking about three quarters of a shot glass. Everybody knows what a shot glass is that yeah. grew up like that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I've seen improvements in my, my joints. Um, I, we, arthritis is bad in our family, and uh, my joints were last year were sore, and they they feel great. I mean. My knees, I had trouble going up and down stairs, and, and uh, I could just go on and on and on. Uh, I, well, we need to, I guess. The, uh, for instance, my uh, wife, she's um, started, we, ran, we live on a ranch here, and um, we started out with one cat. Now we've got cats, <laughs> lots of cats. and, and um, they would get sick and we take them to the veterinarian and it was like a hundred dollar bill every time one of these cats would get sick and it's just too expensive and and just last week she had another cat one of her favorites just a little kitten and it was grumbling inside and real sick i mean it was she'd take a, a teaspoon of the colloidal silver and, and put it in, mix it in with some um, milk or cream, whatever she was using. And she'd do that for three days, and it's just like a miracle. The cat's just running around crazy, you know. <laughs> She's real happy, and it, it saved me $100 right there. So this is about the third time now that that's happened with the cats. And, and uh, anyway... Um, You've been taking it too. Yeah, I've uh, I've had great results with uh, acne, like you said. Blackheads are starting to come out. Um, I use it as a deodorant now, so don't tell me I stink. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's good for a deodorant. It's really cool. Um, but the m most amazing result for me was I had a severe case of toe fungus, and I had it for like six years. I tried everything on the market, and I tried uh, going to the doctor, and I got like a $45 prescription, and that didn't work. And I started spraying the colloidal silver on my toes like, I don't know, four or five times a day. And within two weeks, it was gone. It just dried it up, and I was just amazed. 
And I have this uh, thing right up here. It's a mole that the doctor said he thinks it's precancerous, so he wanted to take it off. I started spraying it with colloidal silver, and it's starting to dry up. It doesn't have those bubbles in it anymore, and it just feels like it's going to eventually peel off. So I don't know. I'm going to keep doing that and see what happens. But I've done a lot of studying on it, and, uh, and we're using it for our plants now, too, because it is very good at killing the bacteria, uh, fungus, molds, things like that. Uh, do your own research on the Internet on it. The stuff is great. And we're not making a dime off of you. We just right. we, we want to help. We really do. I'd like you to try it. You, you just can't believe it. Uh, if you're a grandma or grandpa, you, you give a bottle of this to your um, uh, grandkids that are having trouble with acne or something, they're going to love you for it. <laughs> <laughs> and the and the drug stores, they're they're you know it, it would replace almost everything on their shelves. So of course they're not going to want you to know about it. And just something I want to throw in real quickly is uh, when you're doing research on the internet, you'll come across that it can turn your skin blue. The guy that they have with the blue skin and everything, um, he was making the colloidal silver wrong. He was using regular tap water. Um, he was. It had something else in it. Uh, if you make it right, like Gary's going to show you, it does not turn the skin blue. And we've no, I'm not turning blue. Um, well, I. It's very, very rare, like he said. Again, do your own yeah. research, but um, we've researched it a lot. Yes. Yeah. We we have researched it a lot because uh, I was worried about taking it internally and. I wanted to take it for a while before I, you know, turn anybody else on to it because I, I don't, sure don't want to be responsible for, you know, having something happen to somebody. And uh, you do your own research on it too and you make it at home. I'm going to show you how to, a simple way to make it. Colonial silver is basically made from silver. And uh, I'm going to make this silver, and uh, most people are making it with wires. Uh, and, and, the, and the wire has to be pure 0.999 silver. And you really don't know what you're getting off of the Internet. And I thought, well, why not make it with 0.999% coins? Just, just, just go down to um, your... Um, coin shop and ask them for uh, pure silver and and, and buy uh, they wouldn't have to be this large but I mean you know this is just a standard one ounce silver but I would recommend getting two of these and they'll last you a lifetime um, and like I said again I want to say it again it has to be 0.999 mm -hmm. fine silver you can't make it with um, a, a, a cheap piece of silver that who knows what's in it. It, it could be a mixture of uh, other materials. Uh, these here happen to be made in Canada. Um, it really doesn't matter where they're made as long as you, you trust where um, that it's pure. Uh, just because you have a, a, an old silver coin, a, um, for instance, uh, the the eagle coins, remember mm -hmm. those, or the liberty coins and stuff. But those aren't pure uh, .999 silver, so it's 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 really critical that you do that. These test clips, they they're going to work really good for what we're doing. They come in different lengths. I think I've got 14 inch wires here. We want to hang these coins in the water and. Uh, We'll get most of the coin in the water, at least more than half, of about three quarters of the, the coins. So I'm going to make a platform for these coins to, to hang on. And we want to we want to have the uh, the coins about oh about an inch apart. The spacing isn't real important, just so they don't contact each other. Okay. Okay, I've already uh, put a slot in one, and I really don't like the way the slot is, but it's it's going to work good. The idea is that we can 
put the alligator clip through it like that and it's going to hold it. Okay, my grinder. Are you going to be my... Um, I'm your assistant. Assistant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's don't ever do surgery. This uh, <laughs> Dremel grinder, they're really neat to have around home. I'm going to put two slots in here. By the way, you know where I got this stuff? Oh yeah, from my blinds. Yeah, these are these are extra <laughs> from the blinds, so it's just a you could do this out of a piece of wood or I was thinking about even using the car cardboard and, and cutting a slot in, in there. But it's kind of weak. Um I almost weighed they made that too wide. It just barely it's gonna work though. Yeah. You see where I'm going with this? Oh yeah. You do? Pretty fascinating. Well, I came up with this idea this morning and Okay. Okay, so what's what we're gonna do then is we'll have that. And the reason I've got it, we can have it onto one side because we're going to uh, check that with a um, a meter. Now, the meter, I'm going to have to put a link on the internet where I got one. I really like it. Yeah, it's that blue thing in the bag. I'm probably jumping the gun here. We got to, we should get this all cleaned up and then we'll, we'll make the silver. But basically we're getting ready to make it. But I'm, we're going to be checking it with this uh, meter here, and it tells us the parts per million, they call it, that's in the water. And I'll explain that a little bit better here coming up. But I left room in here so we can check it as it's cooking. Cooking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're ready. So we're, we're going to go wash this, get it nice and sanitary, and... And then we'll uh, clean this up and we'll start over here. Just hold on. What we want to do is we're going to make this colloidal silver with uh, batteries. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these batteries, four of them, they're nine volt batteries. Um, four times nine is 36. 36. So it would be 36 volts. If we click these batteries together, like that, pretty simple, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if, if, if we check from here to here, which I'm gonna show you as we go here, I got a voltmeter, that, that yellow one there. Now you don't you don't need this. I'm just showing you. And we'll check these batteries. 36.6 volts. Okay? Cool. Yeah. Stick our alligator clips through here. Oh, make sure your um, coins are are washed. Uh, get the oil off of them because it'll it'll mess with it. Oil is like an insulator. Okay, there's one. And hey, they're slippery. There's the other. And we're going to hang. They are a little far apart. They're risking. 
closer together. There we go. Okay, now all we need to do is add water. Now the, the, the water has to be distilled water. You can um, buy this at any store, but it has to be distilled water. Is anybody it important? can't be just drinking water, it can't be tap water, it, it has to be distilled water. This is going to make a lot of silver, uh, colloidal silver. Okay, we don't want the alligator clips touching the water. Okay, we're the, well the next step is basically we're going to connect the batteries. You got a minus and a plus. Just clip it on the battery like that and clip the other side like on there. Okay, now we have the reaction going between the um, silver. And we're going to check it right now to show you on the, on the meter here that we have the parts per million is two. Now, you want to be under three or, or lower. Um, and, you know, the, the distilled water, I bought it at quite a few different stores and it pretty good it all checks about two mm -hmm. so it is it's it's good good pure water we're gonna see um, time it and see how long it takes for this to get up to 15 parts per million because that's about where we want to be and it's it's ready to it's ready to go that is so amazing I mean the amount of money that I have saved on going to the doctor and, you know, our sister Sandy just went to the doctor. She had an ingrown toenail, and it started getting infected. And I was talking to her on the phone, and I said, spray your colloidal silver on it. And she sprayed it because they wanted to put her on antibiotics, and she hates antibiotics. So she sprayed it on her toe, and sure enough, it cleared up. I mean, and it's such a simple idea. Yes, it is. It's amazing. It is amazing, and you're not going to hear about it on the news. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what we would like you all to do is send us some um, email, the feedback on on how it helped you, how it helped your, your children, your family, and uh, we'll post that. We, we want to hear the results. Yeah, and do do research on it. There's a lot of good books out there too on on the silver, and uh, it's amazing what you'll end up learning about it. But you got to look through the the people that are downplaying it too. Oh yeah. There there's going to be people on the on the internet, uh, mostly pharmaceutical companies. Um, they're going to downplay it. They're going to they're going to make it sound bad, or they don't want this on the market. Okay, this, this is really interesting, and what's happening here, and I think you can see that in the camera, is something you wouldn't see doing in the house. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it's the same way. It's just in, in, the, in the, your um, house, it's a lot uh, darker. And, and here with the sun coming in, you can, you can see the silver coming off. If you can see that silver coming off of the coins. It's, it's, it's amazing. But when you're making this in the house, like I said, you, you wouldn't see that because it's so dark and you know in, in your home. It's and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and test it here with our parts per million. Did you want to stir it first or hmm? do you stir it first? Well, I want to show before, before and after. See if, if we're to check it, where it's actually the silver is um, accumulated around the, the coins. If we're to check that, it's saying 32. And we'll take our spoon here and mix it up. Check it again. A word of six, seven. 
So our goal is to get to uh, 15. And right now we've had this going for uh, 20 minutes. I feel like I'm doing a science experiment. <laughs> But I would recommend uh, stirring that every, oh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. So then you said the laser thing. Are we going to do that right after it's done? Yeah. And we'll take it in the house and do it. Yeah, if, if we were in the house right, doing this in a darker environment, we'd be able to see the laser. But you can't see it out here. The It's too bright. We'll have to get in there where it's darker. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. We're going to check it again. We'll stir it first. And we're up to 9 parts, 10. 10 parts per million. So we're not too far away to 15. Um, I noticed a lot of people are using three batteries on the internet, so it's your choice. I have four batteries that go a little quicker. Um, a lot of people will also, um, on the internet, add a little salt to make this um, go faster or a couple drops of lemon juice. We don't recommend that at all. Uh, don't don't use anything but oh you scared me I was like no no salt I've heard that's awful <laughs> don't use anything nothing just distilled water and the silver coins and three or four batteries uh, three batteries would be 27 volts okay it's been about 35 minutes and we'll stir it before we check it otherwise we won't get a good reading Eighteen parts per million, so it's done. Now, wasn't that easy? We'll just take our alligator clips off. And uh, don't leave your batteries like that because they might um, drain down on you. I want to reuse them. So take them apart. Now, Betty brought up a good point. We we used uh, 36 volts for batteries, and um, yeah, if we were using three, the process would be a little slower. And the idea is to get the particles coming off of the silver as small as possible. Um, if they're if they're large particles, they just won't get into the blood. Um, and do its job as quick. I mean, you know, uh, you can say a silver dollar is a particle. <laughs> Lay it on your, you know, expect it to heal your cut. But, you know, I mean, that's basically what it amounts to. The smaller the particles are, the better it, it, it does. So you could be better off going with three. I was surprised that, it, um, that this only took uh, 35 minutes. Mm -hmm. So you could use three batteries, and it'd probably take uh, a little longer. But we'll tr we'll try it next time, and we'll let you know. Okay. And I wanted to show you what the um, what the silver looks like. See how it's tarnished. Wow. Do you have a napkin here? Okay, it's it's tarnished. And you can see, there's a clean napkin here. And that's actually silver that's collected on there. So you want to reuse these, just wash them, and, uh, and they'll be good to go. Now I haven't been um, like polishing them or anything, just wipe them off good and reuse them. These were actually brand new when I first did this because I wanted to show you 
how it tarnishes the, the metal. which is totally normal. That's just part of the process. And there you have it. We're going to take this in the house and show you with a um, laser what it looks like. It's pretty cool. Okay. Basically, okay. we're going to demonstrate um, which, how, how you can tell which jar has the silver in it versus the one that's just regular old <laughs> right. water. So I think that's what we're we're out to achieve and what we've been able to see here is that it's shining a laser light through it uh, with one just normal tap water you well no it's when, when, when it's distilled water oh distilled water you yeah because tap water would probably show up let me get the camera this is distilled water and with the light on you can't see any you can't see it's invisible you see a little bit of speckle in there, barely, every now and then, which I think is just a light reflection. But if we move over to the one that's got the silver in it, oh my gosh, you yeah, can you see can. the one with the very visible line. Yeah, if you can't see that, you shouldn't be watching TV at all. <laughs> yep, it's... Um, Go see your eye specialist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is that, okay. So again, that's well, one. With, okay, let's go back to that's, the other. That's colloidal silver water. That's colloidal silver, and that's about 18 parts per million. Okay. Okay. And this is no what? No silver. That that is just um, distilled water. Just distilled water. There's there's nothing here. That's pure water. You can't again, see the laser. See, demonstrate. With my hand here, All right? You can see the beams going through the water onto my hand, but there it goes all the way through. Again, through the colloidal silver water. Try to block the sunlight here. Yep. Yep. Pretty cool. Yeah. Hmm. That's it. Okay, well that's it with the colloidal silver. It's real easy to make, and once you set up, it's real quick. Uh, as you saw, it only took 35 minutes here, and, and uh, that's using four batteries in the spacing of the silver and uh, and uh, how much you have in the water, and and you know if you're doing a gallon or something, of course it's going to take longer. So it's good to have the gauge to find out where you're at yeah. that's 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 pretty pretty critical you could wing it i know a lot of people do but uh it is good to have the gauge yeah i would think so yeah and the optimum is 15 parts per million so and uh also they say when you store it keep it in a glass jar the plastic if you put it in a plastic jar it tends to collect to the sides of the plastic well if it does that, you're not going to, over time, you won't have any colloidal silver. It'll be all on the sides of the plastic, and you won't have the benefits of it. So a glass jar. Um, keep it in a, they recommend a, uh, a dark color jar. Mm -hmm. uh, and keep it out of the sunlight for some reason. I don't know. That's what they recommend. And I've heard that if you do that, that the uh, shelf life is just forever. Yeah, the shelf life is a is a long time. Uh, I did notice when you do have this in the sunlight for very long, it does turn to a a goldish color. But right now, and I've read on the internet too that if if you do it right, um, your parts per million, like we checked, it is 18, and it is clear. There's no gold tint to it. It's it's almost, if anything, it's a silverish look. And um, we used um, distilled water, and and that is a perfect. What do you call it? Batch. Batch. A perfect batch. A silver. Perfect batch. Colloid, colloidal, colloidal silver. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a that's about it, I guess. Is there anything we're forgetting? I don't think so. I hope anybody that decides to try it gets as many results as we have. It's been awesome. 
Yeah, I like the spray bottle, you know, if you want to, you can use it in your kitchen, you know, your cutting table or anything, just mm -hmm. spray your sink down, and I mean, it, it kills all the germs. Uh, oh, when you're getting a cold, if you feel sprayed in your throat, it's really good, it kills all the garbage in your throat, and uh, we saw that, my sister saw it on Dr. Oz, recommend that. Mm -hmm. And um, I put a couple of drops in my ear and let it go down in there when I feel something coming on, and then that kills those boogers in there too. I've heard that the best way to take it internally is actually to inhale it. If you can get it in a fine mist and just inhale it, and it goes right into your bloodstream that way for your lungs. And, um, yeah, it's supposed just, to be amazing for upper respiratory if you have a yes. cough. Yeah. This is going to just fascinate you and what all the uses are for it. It's just incredible. Mm -hmm. You're going to put the drugstores out of business, and they'll probably, they'll probably want us to destroy this video. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, um, have fun with it. Yep, hope it helps you. I hope so. Yeah. Do your own homework and study it and research it. That's right. Right. Okay, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs>